Hey guys and girls and welcome. Today I fancy sharing with you another experiment video. Uh, what we can see right here is a copy of the Japanese version of Knuckles Chaotix sitting inside a European 32X as you can see right there. That hasn't got a shell on the top. Uh, I've had the Chaotix for quite a few years now but I've not been able to play it because under normal circumstances it won't run on a European Mega Drive. Uh, or 32X even. <laughs> well, either one really. Um, so to this very morning, I thought I'd you know give a have a bash at um, attempting to modify it, and I've got uh, quite positive results out of it actually. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a soldering iron or switches, so the method that I've used is that is only temporary at the moment. And I'm using for this one my Asian Mega Drive because. It just seemed easier that way. Um, no, actually, no, the reason why I'm using my Age Mega Drive is because, see this little modification down here, I'm not sure if the camera will focus in on it. Yep, there we go. You can see where it says JP1, and there's a, an additional wire connecting to those two points. Uh, this modification actually uh, tells the Mega Drive to think that it's actually um, a Japanese only machine instead of the Asian one that it is. And I tried that modification on a European Mega Drive and for some reason it just doesn't seem to want to work. It just makes this noise and it sounds like it's going to blow up at any point. So, but doing it, this modification on the um, on the Asian Mega Drive, it just works and it convinces the, the Asian Mega Drive that it's Japanese, which was proved by uh, playing Sonic 3 on it because this game is actually region locked or will not work on anything other than a Japanese Mega Drive. So, that's pretty cool. Also, you need to do another modification on 32X right here. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. Doodly doodly do do. Oh, no, it's fo focus, focus. Focus, you bloody camera. All right, there you go. I'm not quite sure how clear that is, but right in the very middle where you can see it saying, hang on, I can't see it on the camera. I need to try and look on the actual board itself. There we go. Right in the middle where it says R42 and R43, I needed to put that, uh, connect uh, this wire to those two points as well. Unfortunately, because of lack of soldering iron, <laughs> that wire is blue tacked to the side of the cartridge and it's literally resting on the connection point. So, hopefully if I don't jog that, and, the, and everything will be alright. Zoom out. There we go. So, did it work? Let me show you if it did or not. It works. <laughs> the, the, uh, the method wasn't really that tricky, but as you know, I don't have a soldering iron, it was certainly laborious, so... So, yeah. As I say, if you, um, if you attempt to uh, use... Um, if you attempt to plug it into the, um, the 32X without any modification at all, then you'll just get a blank screen. If you plug it into the 32X and into the Asian Mega Drive, you'll get the uh, license by Sega Enterprise screen, and that's as far as it'll go. So the modification will be needed there and there in order to convince the game that it's running on a Japanese Mega Drive and um, Mega, uh, 32X. I've not quite, I can't quite remember the exact um, specifications for region lockouts or uh, anything like that. I think what it is is the 32X detects whether or not the Mega Drive is Japanese or not. And the game detects whether or not the 32X is Japanese or not. Oh, it's the other way around. Hang on. Um, Dilly-doo, dilly do. Uh, was it the video signal? One of the Anyway, the 32X has to check something on the Mega Drive. It doesn't check the, uh, the, the region setting of the game. It just checks whether the Mega Drive is um, Japanese or not. I think that's the case, and of course the game needs to check whether the 32X and the ja and the um, Mega Drive are Japanese. So as long as those um, those points as uh, those points are met, then the game will work, as you can quite clearly see. Now, if I move it in closer to the TV, you can hear this buzzing sound. Unfortunately, that is being made by the um, the Mega Drive. That's got nothing to do with my TV or anything, because if I just show you down here there's a cable here connected from the 32x to the mega drive it's a bit dark so you probably can't see it that well but 
the cable that connects the 32x to the Mega Drive is actually the small cable that connects the that connects to the Mega Drive 2. And what you need is an adapter cable, which usually comes with the 32x, that allows you to, which is this big, and it allows you to plug it into the Mega Drive 1. I'm going to show you both by comparison. I'm doing this with one hand, sorry guys. There we go. Mega Drive 1 connector on the bottom, Mega Drive 2 connector on the top. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, the, so I think it's that wire that's causing that buzzing because when I connect the um, 32X to the Mega Drive 2, there's no sound problem at all and it's fine. So I'm guessing it's that adapter wire that's causing it. So, But, however, since how this is a Model 1 Mega Drive, it has the headphone socket. So if we switch on the speakers that I've got on top of my TV here, we have sound. <sighs> I'm actually quite pleased I managed to get this to work and just for you guys right now I'm gonna give it a little play let's uh, call it a let's try shall we say <laughs> I'll just zoom into it a little bit there we go I'm gonna switch the light off all right let's get this a little bash shall we Welcome to the world of Knuckles KRX. Let's just turn up the brightness on that a little bit because you can't read the text in the middle of the screen. Reset. Curiously enough, it doesn't go Sega. can't read the text that well. Never mind. This is actually the first time I've played the, my cartridge version of uh, Knuckles Chaotix because what I usually do, I played it on an emulator because at the time I couldn't get it to work as I've already mentioned. Uh, dude, call, hold, jump. Okay, alright. Yeah, I would connect this, connect this to my Dazzle, but that that's an even more complicated for a setup, so I'm not going to bother with that too much. Surprisingly enough, <laughs> the, <laughs> the save files are actually, are actually clear. That surprises me, so I was expecting at least one save file because I bought this second hand. Oh well. Uh, save mode auto. Not sure how well you guys can hear this. I apologise. I'd also apologise if there's any sound distortion. You know, that's just my camera being my camera. Yeah, knuckles don't seem to go too fast. Aye, aye. It's robotic. And it looks like it's got. It looks like we've just freed Espio. Hooray! Oh, there's Metal Sonic! Oh no, what's going on? Press start to skip practice mode. Okay. Oh, 
Probably not, but I'm not sure. Actually, it feels good to play this on native hardware to a certain extent rather than playing on an emulator. Oh! Of course, most of us. Well, hang on. Most of us will probably be used to this because we played the, uh, the beta version of Sonic 4 or Sonic Crackers. Of course, this was obviously the result of it. Although, why they made this type of game is beyond me. Don't go the other way, you bastards. <laughs> ah! Oh, of course, that's why. I forget Knuckles can glide. <laughs> Espio is doing his own thing. Big! Completely the wrong music, but never mind. I can't get up there. There we go. Are we ever going to reach the end? I think this game probably would have done better if it was just uh, if it followed the traditional formula of uh, Sonic platformers. Big! Oh, hang on. There's some rings up here. I've got to admit, I do like the heads up display. I do like the font on that. Pretty cool. Whoa. Probably with these sort of uh, sort of spring uh, mechanics, it's probably better to use knuckles because uh, of his wall climb, wall climb, and what have you. Here we go again. One more ring. <laughs> Up we go. Come on. Will, there, will this ever end? Hooray! Ah, oh, Knuckles shrunk. And as a result, he can't. Or oh, can he? Oh, yeah, he can hold SBO. Oh, we made it! Ah, it's a 3D uh, special stage. And that's a spring, okay. Don't want to do that. Because we threw Espio into the ring. It's Espio the ones that place the stage. That's pretty nifty. Ha ha. Ah, the rings act as a timer. That's pretty cool. Cool. Z. 
Zero Blue Spheres 2 go. Four. Okay. Did I do it? Did I win? No. <laughs> oh, God. There's a hole in the ground. I didn't see it. Oh, come on. That's not fair. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's um, Knuckles Chaotix, Japanese version, running on a European Mega on a, on a European 32X that's sitting in an Asian Mega Drive. Both modified to think that they're Japanese machines. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.